I've abandoned my shed and we're in the house today, largely because of this lovely supply of logs and the fire, because I'm told we have a polar vortex coming. So here we are in the house today by the fire. Now let's talk about agents. Today we're going to look at agents and this is agents part one because people have a lot of questions about agents and um, I'd like to try and answer some of those as fully as I can. So although uh, the questions I'm often asked are how do you get an agent and do you need an agent, um, what I want to look for first is what is it that an agent does? What does an agent do? Um, they're going to charge you anything between 10 and 20 percent. 15 is pretty normal, maybe more for foreign rights. So you need to know what it is they're doing to earn that money. Um, and the first thing they're going to do is they're going to support you because nobody other than possibly your mother will take as much interest in your work as your agent. They are going to support you as a person, as a writer. They're going to support your, your actual books, champion your stories, because they need you to succeed for them to succeed. And they have an interest in, in your writing like nobody else. So support is there, and, it, and it's very valid, because it, it is quite a lonely business, being a writer, sometimes. So you need somebody who can fight your corner and you know, give you a bit of a a boost, a bit of bolstering up when you need it, and, and the agent will do that. The other thing they'll do is collaborate. Um, they'll collaborate with you on your novels and your work, because an agent's reputation in the industry stands or falls on the quality of the submissions that they put in front of editors. And if they start to put work out before it's at its best, they'll quickly lose the attention of those publishing houses. People are not going to read, want to read stuff that's of, of a lower quality and if an agent's reputation begins to suggest that the quality is falling or that they're putting stuff out before it's not ready or they're not being as discerning, the editors are going to be less willing to read what they submit and when doors start closing, contracts don't get made. So they're going to help you work on your manuscript to get it in the best shape possible. Now, obviously, you're going to be working with your editor on the script after that, but um, no agent worth their salt will put a, a manuscript out there before they feel that it's ready to be seen. You only really get one chance to show it to people, and if it's a mess, you've wasted that opportunity. So the next thing they're going to do for you is they're going to connect with people in the industry. Now... The most valuable asset an agent has is their knowledge of people in the industry. A good agent will know who's going up in a publishing house, they'll know what different publishing houses are looking for, they'll know about expansion plans, they'll know about all sorts of things that you couldn't possibly know and they will make sure that you are heard about by the, the right people um, and that connection is, is really, really valuable. Then obviously they're going to sell your work. Um, again, if they don't sell your work, they don't make any money. So <clears throat> it's in their interest as well as yours. Um, and, and that is their main um, objective. And it won't just be selling to a publisher in your own country. It might be selling foreign rights. It might be selling serialisation, um, audio book, TV rights um, across the board. So that's, that's selling is a key part of what they do. Then they're going to protect, they're going to protect your interests. Now, they will help you draw up contracts with your, with your publishers. And if they see anyone trying to do you out of what you're owed or what you're due or breaking the terms and conditions of those contracts, they will fight your corner so that you don't have to. And in my experiences, agents are pretty feisty beings and they will be good at sticking up for you. Um, again, it's in their interest, but it's also what they're there to do. They will also process um, the business end of your work in as much as when you get paid for it. So they will make sure that any monies due to you are, are collected in. Um, they will process those with all the necessary paperwork so you get your, your, your remittance advices that you, you can show to your accountant or for when you do your accounts. Um, they will chase late payments. That's a very valuable um, thing to have them do you know you haven't got time to be doing that because you're writing 
So they will be um, gathering in your payments in good time, questioning any anomalies, uh, looking out for things that have been missed and making sure that you get what's owed to you. So that's sort of what they do do. What about what they don't do? Um, they won't do your bookkeeping. They're not going to take care of your tax returns. That's your responsibility, yours and your accountants if you have one. Um, and it's no good thinking that an agent's going to do that for you. They're not going to be organising glossy photo shoots in magazines and booking you gigs at festivals and things. If anybody's going to help you with that, it will be the people at your marketing publicity departments and the publishers. So your agent is not obliged to do that. They may want to attend things with you, they may not, but again, it's not really part of their job. Um, they're not going to encourage you to send them new ideas. If you've been um, giving your agent crime novels to, to sell um, and after a couple of years you decide you want to write science fiction, it's, you needn't expect your agent to be thrilled about that. They've built up a credibility for you in a particular type of um, area with a particular type of book. Um, it's quite difficult for them to sell you now as a different type of writer. So be aware that um, that may not be met with the enthusiasm you'd like. And they're entitled to say no to any work that you hand to them. And that's for you and them to work out together. Um, another word here about what an agent should or should, shouldn't do or will or won't do. A good agent will never ask you for money up front. They make their money from their commission. They will never ask you to fund the taking out of your books and showing them to people. So be very wary of that. If an agent is asking you for that, I would move on and find another agent, okay? Um, so that's what they do. That's what they don't do. And next time we will look at how you go about getting an agent.